Right, I wanted to do a quick and simple video really regarding Xbox One's controller connection issue. Many people have said, oh, it's this, update this, update that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most people have done that and they'll still have issues and they constantly go, why? Is it this? Is it that? Is it that? As you can see there, I've got several controllers, test them all on this console and it constantly drops a connection all the time. At the moment, it's working. You give it about two minutes and we'll lose it again. Um, so what's at fault is the Wi-Fi card. And all it needs to do is be replaced, costs 15 quid. You can do it yourself in two minutes and I just want to show you how. Look, there we go. We've just lost connection again. Oh, and we got it back. And we lost it. Yep, we're losing it. And then it'll probably come back again and look, we're about 50 centimeters away from it. And we've got it back again. So it's nothing to do with the controllers or the drivers or anything. It's the Wi-Fi cards fucked. Right, this shows how easy it actually is to take it apart. No special tools. And I'm gonna do it with one hand. Slip a blade in and give it a little push. Boom. There she is. Right, now these three automatically just popped off, but if not, you're just gonna slide it in and give it a little push. And now what you're left with is a few along this side, which you can't get to very easily. So you can either push one of these down the back or grab yourself a pen and then have a look underneath. You can see where it is. Just give it a little push and that's it, pop straight up. Do it again on the next one. There is one more. Give it a push. Easy as that. Okay, it flipped it back on the side. Next step is see this little sticker here. Give it a kiss because that is now void. So we can either just run a blade straight through it. Oh, that's satisfying. And then, well, I said or, oh, there's no other or. Just run a blade through it. Now we've got this little magical piece. We just want to yank that pull it out come on you little terror let's let's persuade it with a pen nib whoa spend the camera around there it is and you've got a nice shot of me in my dressing gown right and now i've just skipped a step because it's easy to show you when it's open this little catch is obviously hidden behind here when it's shut so you put your finger in it and just lift it open once it opens it starts to open all of this for you you're gonna snap your void sticker, and when you get as far as here, all you need to do is just pry forwards, like that, and this opens up, and that's the lot. No screws whatsoever. And what do we see right there? A Wi-Fi card. Now this next step, I must warn you, you should be pretty much a qualified astronaut or a brain surgeon or something, because it's super, super complicated. What you need to do is you've got two screws. There goes one, there goes two, and then all we do is pop it off. Boop. There she is. Disconnect the little cable. Here's the replacement one. Then all you need to do is reattach the cable. Like a Pratt, I've just tried to reconnect it to that one instead of this one. So for a clue, connect it to the one with a C. C for connect. Yeah, that's a bit easier. Line that up with that. Let's give it a little feel. Where is she? There she is. And give it a little screw. Boop, 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 boop. And then you get your old piece and you put that on eBay and sell it as tested working Wi-Fi card. Nah, of course you don't, you bastards. And shut the lid. Right, looks like she's all lined up. And ready to go. Magic wand, tappity tap tap. She's alive! Does she work? Oh, straight away. Let's have a quick go. No problems at all. No one sinking issues. Let's take it away from the danger zone. Still sinking. So there you have it. 15 quid, 15 minute fix, and that's how you get your controller to work with your Xbox again. 
And regarding where to get these little boggers from, I'll put a link down below from Amazon or eBay. I can't remember where I got it from, but the link will be below. And when you come to buy them, they will say second hand because most of these are going to be ripped out of refurbished consoles. If the disc drive is buggered, someone will take a working part out and stick it on Fleabay. So, yep, link down below. Easy peasy.